let's discuss about the file policy now so what i can do is that whenever the inside network whoever is going to the outside i can also detect for the file what kind of file they are downloading and i can allow or block the file also so let's see where where we can configure go to the policies click on malware and file policy So I click on new file policy and I will say that uh, file and malware policy, FLN ML. So basically you're checking for the file malware in within a file now. So click on continue. Let's go to the rules and click on add rule now. So you see that uh, application protocol, any HTTP, anything, it can lead, uh, keep it any. Action, detect the files, block the files, malware, malware, cloud lookup or block malware. So I want to block the malware. So there are different types of malware. So you can select multiple over here, what you want to do here. So I will store files, malware, and I will select the action as the reset connection. That should be fine. Direction, it can be on any direction, upload or download and what type of uh, files you want to block it. So if you just select the category archive files, so everything will be selected. What type of extension you are blocking now. So if you say that executable files, .exe files will also be blocked now. All right, so you can just click on that one and click on add and these two categories should be added over here and click on save. So the rules will be, it can detect, it will detect any protocol no matter what but it is looking for these two categories of files. When it looks for these two categories of files, it will check for the malware. If malware is filed, uh, found, then it will just uh, reset the connection. That's it. And click on save. And again, this is a file policy which will be applied to the access policy rule, not to the whole policy. I will go back to my access control policy and I will click on edit. And I will apply to the rule, which is going from inside to the outside. You see that inside and DMZ going to the outside. So I will click on edit to that rule. And I will go to the inspection. This time I should have file policy. Click on that one. And I do have my file policy. Click on save. Now you see that there is also one more icon which has been enabled. So before it was disabled, now it has been enabled. That indicates that some policies have been applied to this rule. So click on save. So click on deploy and deployment. Now, Coming to the file policy, even though if I have applied the file policy, still it will not be valid because uh, most of the time you will be accessing your traffic on the HTTPS traffic, which is the encrypted traffic. So this is the encrypted traffic. So if it is the HTTP traffic, yes, FTT is able to look into the traffic and it is able to block the traffic. But most of the time it will be maximum time it will be HTTPS, which is the encrypted traffic. So it is not able to look up into that. So the file policy, which I applied now is, even though if I have applied, it still doesn't make any sense because it is not going to actually look until unless it is the HTTP traffic. So that's where we will come to the SSL decryption. All right. So I hope this was informative for you and thank you.